the pH scale. So pH scale is a strips like this. See how these strips are there. So like this only. The paper is in yellow color. This one is a pH strip. It was a pH scale. So when we keep this paper in any acid solution or base solution, whenever it will be turned into this color. So the changes of the color, it decide whether it is a acid or base. For example, if we keep this, if the if we keep this strip in a hydrochloric acid, it will be turned into red color. So red color. So what is the red color value? One. So the pH of red hydrochloric acid is a one. If we keep this uh, strip in a sugar solution, the strip will be turned into green color. So the green color will indicate the seven. So pH seven is a the green color. So neutral solution. For example, if we keep this strip in a sodium hydroxide, so the pH value, the pH pH paper color will be changed into this blue color. So it will indicate the pH of the solution is a the pH of this solution is a thirteen, and it represents a base. From he carefully observe from zero to six, it is a acidic solution, and eight to fourteen, it is a base solution. And from seven, it is a neutral solution. We can simply say pH of acid is less than seven. pH of base is more than seven. pH of neutral substance is a seven. Strength of acid and base uh, acid decreases from zero to seven, and strength of base has increased from eight to fourteen. That means if the solution pH value is one, that is strong acid. If while well, compared to the pH six, okay, so pH six is a actually six is a larger number compared to one, but uh, the strength of the acids will be decreasing, decreasing from one zero to six. So that means if the solution will have a one, it has a strong acid. If the solution pH will have a six, it is a weak acid. Okay, so that is the. that is all about the ph paper for this activity we need different types of solutions and universal indicator and ph scale ph scale so first take the dilute hydrochloric acid vinegar water sodium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide solutions in a beakers and you take universal indicator and add to Two drops in each test tube. Then, by using the color uh, changes its color of the solution, we can find the pH value. Okay. First, uh, observe with the dilute hydrochloric solution. Add add few drops of universal indicator into dilute hydrochloric acid. So then the solution will be changes its color. It is a red in color. Now test with the vinegar acid. So whenever we add two drops of universal indicator into vinegar solution, it changes its color. It is yellow in color. The next with water, it does it does not changes its color. It remains green in color only. Sodium hydroxide. So with the sodium hydroxide, it changes its color with the purple color. And add few drops of universal indicator into ammonium hydroxide solution. It changes its color in light purple color. So, by using the color of this solution, we can find the pH value. So, observe the color of the hydrochloric acid solution with the changes its red color. So. it will indicate one so the red color on the ph scale it will indicate one so yellow color so one is a strong acid one represent it is a strong acid ph value of the scale and yellow color so what is the yellow color ph value ph on the ph scale we will observe the three so three is a Three indicates yellow color in vinegar solution. So vinegar solution. So the pH scale of the three it will indicate the it is a weak acid.
and the pH value of water is 7. So it is a neutral solution. And pH value of pH, this color, the purple color indicates the 14. And it will indicate strong base. From 8 to 14, it will indicate bases. So the last number is 14. So 14 will indicate strong base or strong alkaline solution. We can call it as a strongly alkaline also. We can call it as a. And it is it will indicate 12 to 13. So it will weak base or weak alkaline. We can call like that also. Weak base or weak alkali. So now what we concluded that hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid. So these are all examples for strong acids. And acetic acid, citric acid, oxalic acid are weak acids. So sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide are strong bases. Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please like my video, share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you.